Hello, good day, and welcome to Encouragement and Prayer Ministries. I want to thank you for watching the video, sharing the video with your family and your friends, so together we can be an encouragement to others, and together we can share the gospel. I want to read to you from the book of Psalms, chapter 70. O God, hasten to deliver me. O Lord, hasten to my help. Let those be ashamed and humiliated who seek my life. Let those be turned back and dishonored who delight in my hurt. Let those be turned back because of their shame who say, Aha, aha. Let all who seek you rejoice and be glad in you. And let those who love your salvation say continually, Let God be magnified. But I am afflicted and needy. Hasten to me, O God. You are my help and my deliverer. O Lord, do not delay. I title this message, Deliver Me. If you want something delivered, you must first look at what you want. And to look for someone who delivered to you what you want. Once you receive your delivery, you hope to rejoice in what you've requested. God wants to deliver you. Today I want to invite you to seek who can deliver you from sin and its penalty with His salvation. This chapter is very similar to the psalm in chapter 40, verses 13 to 17. Be pleased, O Lord, to deliver me. Make haste, O Lord, to help me. Let those be ashamed and humiliated together who seek my life to destroy it. Let those be turned back and dishonored who delight in my hurt. Let those be appalled because of their shame, who say to me, Aha, aha. But let all who seek you rejoice and be glad in you. Let those who love your salvation say continually, The Lord is magnified, since I am afflicted and needy. Let the Lord be mindful of me. You are my help and my deliverer. Do not delay. Oh my God. But now the psalmist is replace God with Lord. But we need to believe in God. But even more, we need to make God our Lord. When you ask to be delivered, you do not only have to understand that there is only one God. But you have to make God Lord. Over all of your life, Psalm 70, verse 1, says, Deliver me. Hasten. The Hebrew word here is Zakar. It means to recognize and remember. And God, Elohim, Supreme God. Deliver means to snatch. To snatch away. Rescue. Save without fail. Hasten. Push. Hurry to be eager with excitement or enjoyment. We can call to the Supreme God to rescue us, to save us. Let's look at Galatians chapter 1, verse 4. Who gave himself for our sins so that he might rescue us from this present evil age according to the will of our God and Father. For it is Jesus who rescued, wants to rescue us. Jesus wants to rescue you. Let's look at Matthew chapter 6 verse 13. And do not let us lead us in temptation, but deliver us from evil. For yours is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. The Father wants to deliver you. That's why He sent His Son Jesus to live the life that we are supposed to live. 
and die the death that we should have died by taking our place on the cross. Jesus delivered us. And 2 Corinthians chapter 1 verse 10, who delivered us from a great peril of death and will deliver us. He on whom we have set our hope and he, he will yet deliver us for our God, our Lord Jesus Christ. He's there to rescue you. He's there to deliver you from evil, from sin. That our God will not forget us. For he has promised that we will not be forgotten. Let's read from Galatians chapter 3 verse 18. For if the inheritance based on law is not is no longer based on a promise. But God has granted it to Abraham by means of a promise. In 1 John chapter 2, verse 25, this is the promise which he himself made to us, eternal life. For Jesus rescued us and delivered us from the penalty of sin and death, and promises us eternal life. In Acts chapter 13 verse 23, of the descendants of this man, according to promise, God has brought to Israel a Savior, Jesus. But Jesus is our Savior. Jesus is our rescuer. God will not delay to save you. Let's look at Hebrews chapter 10 verse 37 for yet in a very little while he who is coming will come and will not delay and Luke chapter 18 verse 7 now will not God bring about justice for his elect who cry to him day and night and he and will he delay long over them in verse 8 I tell you that he will bring about justice for them quickly. However, when the Son of Man comes, will he find faith on the earth. When Jesus will return, he will return for his church, those who have faith in him, who have accepted the gospel of Jesus Christ, who have accepted and believed in his salvation. But we do not know when he will come, but he will come quickly. And those who are in Christ will be changed in the twinkling of an eye. For what seems long to us is short in God's time frame. He will come when you're least expected. So you need to be ready. You need to have faith in Jesus. You need to have faith in the gospel. You need to be saved with the Lord's salvation. And those who accept God's salvation, God rejoices in every one of those who accepts Jesus as Lord and Savior. Let's look at Psalm 21, verse 1. O Lord, in your strength the King will be glad. And your salvation, how greatly he will rejoice. The king here is King David. He rejoices in the Lord's salvation. Let's look at Luke chapter 15, verse 10. In the same way I tell you, there is joy in the presence of the angels of God over one sinner who repents. Heaven rejoices. When one person accepts salvation, they accept Jesus as their Lord and Savior, and they turn away from evil and turn to God. That's how much God and the angels love us. They are happy with overwhelming joy because you have been redeemed. You have been bought back, and with the Lord's salvation, you are brought back to your Creator. 
Let's look at Matthew chapter 8 verses 12 and 13. What do you think? If any man has a hundred sheep, all of them has gone astray, does he not leave the ninety-nine in the mountains and go and search for the one that is strained? If it turns out that he finds it, truly I say to you, he rejoices over it more than over the ninety-nine which have not gone astray. For the shepherd here is the Lord our God. He is searching for you. He is searching for the one who is lost in sin. He is looking for you to save you. And when he finds you, he rejoices that he has found one. Let's look at Psalm chapter 70 verse 4. Let all seek you, rejoice, and be glad in you. Let those who love your salvation say continually, Let God be magnified. So we are also to seek the Lord. The Lord is looking for you. When you seek the Lord, we are told that He will find you. You will find Him. Let's look at Deuteronomy chapter 4 verse 49. Let's look at Deuteronomy chapter 4 verse 29. For from there you'll seek the Lord your God. You'll find Him if you search for Him with all your heart, with all your soul. Would you really want to find something? Something that is valuable to you that's been lost. You will take the effort to find when it's lost. It bothers you until you find that lost item. For we have lost our God. We have become separated because of sin. But when you really want to be saved, you know you need God, you need the Lord Jesus Christ. You can search with all your heart, with all your soul. And He promises that He will be found. You can find Him. We have already read Matthew chapter 18, verse 12 and 13. It says the shepherd will go out to find the one lost sheep. Jesus is the great shepherd. Let's read Hebrews chapter 13, verse 20. Now the God of peace who brought you brought up from the dead, the great shepherd of the sheep, through the blood of the eternal covenant, even Jesus our Lord. For the great shepherd is Jesus. He died and he rose again. Now he is looking for you. So search for him and he will find you. The great shepherd is looking for the lost. If you are one of the lost who has not accepted Jesus and his salvation, today is your chance to find him because he is looking for you. Call to him for help to deliver you from sin. He is there looking for you. Rejoice and be glad. Rejoice, the Hebrew word is soos. To be bright, cheerful, be glad, greatly, joy, make, rejoice. Glad, the Hebrew word is sa mak right now cheer up rejoice in your salvation let's look at psalm chapter 13 verse 5 but i'm trusted in your loving kindness my heart shall rejoice in your salvation because of trusting in god's mercy receiving his salvation your heart will rejoice in the Lord's salvation. In Psalm chapter 9 verse 14, that I may tell of all your praises, that in the gates of the daughter of Zion, I may rejoice in your salvation and our joy. We will tell others, for you cannot hide what you have now, accepting 
the Lord's salvation. Let's read Psalm chapter 20, verse 5. We will sing for joy over your victory. In the name of our God, we will set up our banners. May the Lord fulfill all your petitions with the Lord's salvation. You become a witness for the Lord. People will see the joy in us. No matter what the situation, we can still have joy because we have God's perfect hope. God has not forgotten you. In fact, Jesus is looking for you, for those who are lost in sin. Jesus wants to, deli to deliver the lost out of their situations. That sin has caught those trapped in sin. All you need to do is to seek the Lord Jesus with all your heart and all your soul. And the Lord will be there to pull you out of sin. Jesus' salvation will save you. Jesus' salvation will bring joy to you. Jesus' salvation will brighten you up. The things around you may not change because the hope you have gives you life to see a better way and will. God's way and God's will. With God's hope and will, rejoice to proclaim you are saved and what Jesus has done for you. Today we receive the Lord's salvation. Be saved and rejoice because Jesus has found you. Lord, I thank you that you promise us that if we seek you, we will find you. We can find you because you are looking for us, the lost sinner. And we can cry out to you to help us out out of sin and sinful life. We rejoice in your salvation. And our rejoicing is a proclamation for others to see so they too can find you and see you. And they can also be saved out of the simple situation that they are in. And they, Lord, I ask you to open the ears of someone who is lost to hear this message so they can be saved, they can see you, they can find you, and they can rejoice. In Jesus' name, Amen. I want to give you the opportunity today that you believe that Jesus Christ is God, that He came to earth sinless died for you and rose from the dead. Today, you can confess your sins and ask for forgiveness. I ask you to repeat after me as I pray. Heavenly Father, I acknowledge that the separation between us is because of my sin. I confess that I have sinned and have fallen far short of your glory. I thank you that you sent your son, Jesus, to pay the penalty for my sin. I believe that he died on the cross for me. I believe that you raised him from the dead. I am sorry for my sins, and I ask you to forgive and cleanse me. I want to turn away from everything the Bible comes for and receive Jesus as my Lord, Master, and Savior. Help me to love, serve, and obey you for the rest of my life. In Jesus' name, I want to encourage you to grow in your faith. You need to read God's Word the Bible every day. Take time reading it, 
and thinking about what his word is saying to you and ask the Holy Spirit to guide you and to reveal his message to you every day. And every day, take time in prayer, talking to our he your Heavenly Father, what's on your heart, what you don't understand, and take time to listen to what he has to say to you and to have fellowship with other believers who will encourage you, who will strengthen you, who will make you sure so you will live the life that you are supposed to live that is pure, holy, and sinless. I'd like to invite you to attend services with me. Yeah, I think our service time is on the end. And again, yeah. So let's go and attend services with me. Thank you. Watching and sharing your thoughts. Learn, encourage others to share the gospel. I'd like to invite you to subscribe to the Encouragement and Prayer Ministries YouTube channel at www.youtube.com slash at Encouragement and Prayer Ministry and share with your friends and your families so they can also be encouraged and hear the gospel of Jesus Christ. I'd like to invite you to subscribe to Encouragement and Prayer Rumble channel at rumble.com slash c slash encouragement and prayer ministries and share with your friends and your family so they can also be encouraged and hear the gospel of Jesus Christ. I'd like to invite you to pick up one of our members and our Facebook group. Our address is www.facebook.com slash groups slash encouragement and prayer ministries. This group we also have chat rooms for prayer requests and questions. So we can be an encouragement to you for you to grow in your faith, to pray for you, and to pray for others. I'd like to invite you to follow us on TikTok at www.tiktok.com slash at encouragement and prayer. Let us be an encouragement to you. Let us share the gospel of Jesus Christ together. I'd like to invite you to follow us on Instagram for message highlights. You can find us at www.instagram.com slash E&P Ministries.